So we got here a finger snowboard that you can use to slope down or go down the slopes and uh, check out the bindings. The bindings rotate a little bit so that you can get your foot into the right position. Um, and you can snowboard down the mountain on this Lego snowboard. You know, if you like this, make sure to leave a comment and then also subscribe. We put out a new video each and every day around 7 a.m. So if you subscribe, you'll get notifications of when we put out our new videos. Every single day we do a new video. It's make share daily. And we got to share something each and every day. So um, today is a snowboard. So let's go check out how I built this snowboard. Let's go check it out. So what we're we gonna build today? We're still following that winter theme, so let's go build a snowboard. So now let's put five minutes on the clock. Okay. And start. So we have to build a snowboard. That's gonna be fun, I think. So let's start with the plates. And we've done a little bit of uh, Nolan. And uh, let's see, I'd like to use red. That'd be kind of cool. Red and gray maybe? Or red and brown. Can we match up here? Come on. We're not matching up very well. Huh. We're gonna use need to use the browns or maybe the whites. Maybe the whites are what we're gonna need to use. <clears throat> maybe something like that. Why are we two out? That's kinda weird. How about that? That's a decent color scheme. So the trick is the ends. <clears throat> That's gonna be the hard part, right? How are we going to do the two ends? <coughs> Excuse me. Now I believe, yep, we have these little red parts. Right here. And I can put that on the ends, on the, at least one end. And it gives that feel of going up. Now white is a different hand, different. It's a little different. So now we have to figure out, maybe we'll use that red color as well. Are we done? I don't know. I don't think so. There. Is that a snowboard? <coughs> Was that easy? Two and a half minutes? I don't think it's right. I don't think it's right to stop there. Maybe we switch up the colors a little bit just to make it look a little different. Hmm. I'm going to change this up. I'd like to try something different, you know? Yeah, that looks cool. That looks like a cool pattern. Kind of like a lightning bolt kind of style. Hmm, how can we change this up? How can we make this look cooler? Oh, bindings. That's what we need. We need some bindings. Now, bindings are typically at an angle. 
they're not normally yeah something like this and then you do that and then you do this yeah okay now we're now we're kind of cooking what else do we need for a snowboard because that looks like you know that looks like the binding so like this one's parallel um, what we could do is we could build this one up in the back here with the black go like that and then this one as well do that with the black as well so we can have the bindings look a little more secure so there we go so now that's again at an angle like this and it looks like boots well, I'm losing me there we go so it looks kind of like boots on top of a snowboard that looks more like a snowboard I think uh, especially at this one angle it adds to that overall look and feel of a snowboard I'm happy with that what else can we do to embellish this um, I think that's it I'm done I'm gonna stop there it looks really good um, it looks really and that's five minutes it looks really good and um, I think it hits on that overall feel of the snowboard the the features of the snowboard with the bindings and the uh, the, the lips on the on the front and back that kind of curl up on the snowboard so you can definitely carve I like that it's kind of floating you know it's got that one plate underneath so you could play around with it you could go and do some of this kind of stuff and kind of slope through the mountains right I mean that's that's that adds a little playability to it if I had a large minifig you know that could fit this size it w I think it would look really good underneath a, a large minifig you know those Technic minifigs that it, that they have you know that are about that tall probably could put probably could put them on this and it would look pretty good I think it turned out awesome again if you have built a snowboard or a snowboard out of Legos uh, leave a comment down below love to hear pic see pictures of it or love to hear a description of what you've built in the past also if you think that there's things that we could have done differently leave a comment and also if you think we did a good job love to hear from you as well so let's go check out what we're going to build tomorrow so that snowboard was cool build now let's go spin the wheel and find out what we're going to build tomorrow so we got nothing but snow ice and winter sports on the board so what we got we have a sled an old-fashioned sled or maybe it's a carriage you know the horse-drawn sled I don't know let's go build a sled and go ahead and tune in tomorrow at 7 a.m. where when we release our new videos each and every day and uh, it's gonna be a sled for tomorrow's build and I hope that you play along go ahead Build a sled and submit it through our social medias on Facebook and Instagram. We'd love to see what you have to build. And that's part of my enjoyment of this channel is seeing what each and every one of you builds each and every day. Thanks everybody for watching. Tune in tomorrow and we'll see you next day. Bye bye. Bye bye. How do they do that? How do they do, do those fingerboards? Something like that, right? Oh, it broke!